welcome back here with another tutorial I was starting to upload videos to YouTube um, in doing so I saw on different videos that other people had uploaded um, how they would zoom in on different parts of their video clip um, while searching the internet I wasn't able to find a really good tutorial explaining how to do this uh, so I decided to make one for others in case they were wondering um, what I use is Adobe Premiere Pro and it's pretty easy with this application to do so. Um, first off, you want to get in, start your project, pick a clip that you want to zoom in on, and you want to drag it over here into your timeline for that sequence. And you want to click on your clip and open up the effects controls. Uh, if you don't have this window, it's right here under Window, Effects Controls, Shift Style. And in order to get information to display here, um, you have to click on the actual clip that you want to apply the effects to. So when you get in here, you click on motion and you click this drop down. You get all these different options. The ones that allow you to zoom um, are this position, which is X and Y axis, and then scale, which actually scales the image. Um, 100 is normal, and as you go above 100, that actually zooms your image. And if you go below 100, it goes down uh, in image size so you're actually zooming out so wh what I want to note here that other tutorials failed to really make a uh, clear note in was of course you have to start and uh, stop the keyframes so we're gonna play through and we're gonna go through until we want to actually zoom in let's say here we want to start zooming in so what we want to do is activate the position and scale keyframe this is going to be our first keyframe, and this is going to be at our, our normal position and scale. So we want to note these, so we'll have 960, 940, and 100. So this is our normal viewing setting, and you want to get back to this after you zoom out again in order to make the, the, view seem, or the video seem very fluid. So we'll play again for a few seconds, and we'll stop it. So at this point, this is where we want to create a new keyframe. So we're going to start in and we're just going to zoom in 200. So double the size and if you click on motion here you can either drag in the actual video to where you want the video to slide to. So we'll zoom in on this area and you can see that it already created it for us. Now depending on how long you wait in seconds um, that's how long that's how fast the video is going to zoom in and zoom back out afterwards. So let's just see what we actually created here. I'm going to depart from the original. So you can see it plays out. And there we go. That's our zoom. That's what we asked the, the editor in the effects to do. So we're going to go from here. And let's say we want to stay zoomed in for a couple seconds. So we'll stop it here. And at this point, this is where you can add or remove keyframes. So we're going to say until this point, we want to stay zoomed in at this scale. We'll play for a few seconds. And this is where we want to zoom back out. So we want to change our position, X and Y. And we want to change our scale to zoom out. So in doing this, this is creating timestamps showing now we want to zoom in at this rate. And again, zooming out at that rate. So the closer these are, the faster it's going to go, the further apart the slower it's going to go. So if we go to, and another thing that uh, other tutorials didn't explain, is these arrows here. So if you if you don't want to drag and get the exact point, you know, to add or remove specific keyframes, we're simply putting these arrows. Pretty straightforward, but other tutorials didn't really explain it. I thought it was pretty important to, to note. Um, the other one here, so if you want to go here, let's remove those frame um, position and scale keyframes and see what happens. So instead of zooming in, staying zoomed in, and then zooming out fast, we zoom in really fast and zoom out still. So depending on how far apart they are in between the different keyframes, um, that's how quickly in and out the video will actually go. Um, this is how you do it with video that's you know, a clip 
You can also go to restore images exactly the same way by adding a correct keyframe. And that concludes this tutorial. Um, comment if you have questions and like the video. Thanks for watching.